And what kind of non-ordinary experiences were you having that, and you ended up that way? It was just extreme empathy, I feel. Um, and I've always been an empathetic person, but around that time, it was like I could feel what people were feeling. And I could feel when someone needed me to reach out to them, or if I was going through something and I thought about a person, they would immediately reach out to me without me contacting them whatsoever. So it was like that kind of thing where I would just, you know, have a sensation, you know, it's, it's hard to explain, but I think you understand um, where I just felt like I was moving through the world in the way that I was supposed to. And the universe was just connecting the dots and making sure that I was making the the right connections with the right people, as well as, um, you know, affecting situations that I felt I needed to be inserted into. So yeah, it's, um, I'm trying to think of a specific uh, occurrence. Um, I would say, you know, I had come home shortly before the, this episode started. Um, and I was already starting to feel like the spiritual components of it. And I was sitting in church, uh, you know, I came home for a funeral and I was sitting in church with my grandmother whose brother had passed away. And I remember just like holding her and consoling her. And I just got this message out of nowhere that was like, your mission is to spread the word of God through music. And I was like, whoa, where did that come from? Like, what is that? And then I remember like doubting it and doubting it. And then I saw another message, which was, don't let anyone look down on you because you're younger and experienced. Like, just go for it. Something to that effect. I know it's like a Bible verse or something like that. But um, yeah, it was just like, I would get these very profound messages from nowhere. And I was just kind of like, how do I take this? Who do I tell about this? And, you know, how do I move forward? 